Hey guys. Okay. So this is the extended version of the Sagittarius soulmate reading. As you notice, I didn't do any clarifiers in the reading. So I wanted to save that for the extended. Um, let me do a quick shuffle of the cards here. So we left off at, um, yeah, there's an ending of cycle. Someone needs to end the cycle. Someone's trying to come to a, a decision here. And they don't know what to do. My shuffle is a little bit off because I have a boo-boo here. I broke one of my nails, cracked right in the middle. But, yeah, so there's definitely some stagnation. There's complacency and there is indecisiveness here. So what I'm gonna do is, so in the past I spoke about in the original video, and if you didn't watch that, you might wanna watch that first. Um, I spoke about you thinking that there was a victory with reconciling with a specific person from your past. Um, you thought it was gonna be a success. You thought it was gonna be a victory. Um, but you realize that it didn't, it wasn't successful here. You reached a stalemate in a relationship. Um, things were not progressing. You guys, you know, reconciled, but you're just not, um, there's no harmony. There's the union is basically dull um, because someone is very complacent with the nine of cups in the reverse position. Um, somebody has reached a stalemate or the relationship because there's a two here, has reached a stalemate. Um, and in the present, it shows here that, okay, someone is really trying to figure out how they can approach the situation and try to find a resolution to resolve it. Or there is an uh, energy of needing to um, come to terms with the way things are going, um, possibly here, making the choice to end the situation here. Um, it shows some, some type of progress and slow uh, some type of progress towards making a decision. Um, but here I still have indecision here with the two of pentacles in the reverse. And then I have here um, in the future position here, you're, uh, there's some type of fear. There's, there's disappointments, dissatisfaction, um, some regrets because you made a bad decision. As you can see, the regret card is here um, diagonally from the, the, that bad decision. Because here it's saying that there was a decision. The decision was to reconcile because you thought it was going to be a victory, but you figured out that there, you found out that it wasn't. Um, you didn't get the wish you grant, the wish you asked for, whatever you asked for, um, didn't turn out to be what you thought it would be. And this is why they say, be careful what you ask for. All right, so let's clarify a few things here. I want to clarify the Two of Swords, please. Please clarify the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here in the past position? What was, what is this choice about, please? So, yeah, and I'm sending you, this one was trying to flip over. Um, for me, when I see this card, I feel like this is some type of somebody really focusing on them, their sales here. Here, let me see. Let me clarify some more. Why are you showing me the four pentacles in the reverse here? Okay, justice, see? Yeah. Um, the reconciliation um, was due to somebody being, okay, so in the past, somebody was selfish. Um, somebody was really focusing on themselves. I mean, with the Four of Pentacles, that talks about material, someone, a materialistic person. It also talks about someone that's really about their possessions here. And with the Justice card, I kind of feel like it's speaking to the fact that the two of swords, this decision was made. Um, there was a bad decision. 
which is what I said before with the Four of Pentacles. So, also what I'm getting with the Four of Pentacles in the Justice card here, because Justice talk to me, I think about karma, I think about getting your just due here. I think that you thought it was going to be a success because you felt like this person in the past wasn't focusing on you and you felt like, okay, if you re reconcile, you feel like, okay, maybe this person is going to start focusing on the relationship, going to start focusing more on you. Um, and that's not what it turned out to be. And I mean, because this per in the upright, that card is talking about success as well. Um, for me, I think, I think about success when I see the four of pentacles. Um, things are going to change for the better. And twos denotes a waiting period, gestation. And then the four of pentacles is also delayed. It's lost too. Um, jealousy. I kind of feel like This is saying that there's a reluctant, uh, someone was reluctant to let go of this relationship. This is why they came to this conclusion, this decision here. And then, yeah, because the Four of Pentacles is talking about um, the relux, you're reluctant because you don't want to give things up. Because as you can see, he's holding on to this coin tightly. So I feel like someone was reluctant. Um, they didn't want to give up anything. Um, they didn't want to give up a relationship. And like I said, there's a fear of loss. And I mentioned that in the first reading. There's a fear of loss here. So justice here comes in the situation, major arcana. Um, this is an 11, and this is a 11 reduces down to two here. And then we have a two. There needed to be some type of a balance here. Um, with the justice card. I can, I can also look at it as. Um, you kind of felt like. Making this decision. Or actually you know what. The justice card is saying that you made the decision. It's just confirming that. There was a delay. There was a. Um, and making a decision, and then this you re you reached a decision here with the justice card. That's what I'm going to look at that as. Now, let me clarify the um, the seven of cups here. I look at that, and like I said, there was two groups of people. There's wishful thinking. There's a group of people that are afraid to come towards a sag, or a sag is afraid to come towards somebody else. Um, because they're they're not able to come to a decision on if there will be a success, you know. Um, there's definitely a slow, like right here, as you can see, the Knight of Pentacles in the Knight of uh, Cups. This person wants to make an offer, but the Knight of Pentacles talks about a slow and steady, something slow, an offer coming in slow here. Um, so I was, I'm, all, I'm thinking like there is an offer that one that someone wants to make. To a Sag or a Sag wants to make an offer to someone, but they are indecisive. They can't decide if it's a good choice or not. Um, please verify the verify. Please clarify the Seven of Cups here. Please clarify the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Okay, the Temperance in the reverse here. Um, yeah, you feel like there's going to be a lack of give and take, a lack of balance. Um, in the relationship or maybe they're if it's not give and take because i don't really i mean for me balance is give and take and reciprocity basically I feel like there's not going to be reciprocity um in the relationship and the tempers card is coming in in the reverse position and it's major it's a major arcana and the tempers card here 
I mean, I would say that it's showing up in this, it's a 14, so that we're reduced down to a, to a five. Um, imbalance, of course, because it's, it's in the reverse. It's just saying to me that it's really just, there's some type of conflicting interest. Maybe you two don't get along well. Maybe there were some conflicts in the past. Um, Self-doubt. It's really more doubt for me and emotional um, uncertainty and um, emotional instability here is what I'm getting. And I think that's why you can't make the decision on whether you should come towards the person or not. Can you please tell me why the Nine of Swords is here? Please clarify the Nine of Swords. Because in the first reading, I say there needs to be an ending of a cycle here. And um, see, the lovers, you can't, you see what I'm saying? There's a this decision. You can't make this decision because you don't know if it's a good decision, basically. You don't know if it's a good decision. You don't know if you're going to have success. You don't know if it's going to work out in your favor. Please. Ooh. And there are three cards flew out. Oh, four cards. Um, look at this. King of Wands in the reverse. Queen of Wands in the upright. Um, Leo. Sag. That's Queen of Wands and Sag in the upright. Um, who's King of I'm having a uh, brain fart. So, and then I have the Ace of Wands here. And then the King of Swords. So this is telling me that there needs to be a decision. Which is just the theme here. <laughs> because we already know that there is a lot of indecisiveness in this union. So, I kind of feel like with the, the King of Swords, somebody's going to be cut out. Someone wants to cut something out. Either they want to cut out the stagnancy and not the complacency. They want the person to... They want that to stop here with the Ace of um, the Ace of Wands. They want to change. It's like a change here. New idea forming. A uh, new beginning. Yeah, they want a new beginning. They want to cut out whatever it is that's causing the complacency. Or they want to cut out the person altogether here. And I kind of feel like the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands is just talking about you, Sag, and the, per and the person you're dealing with here. Um, this could be the Queen of Wands could be, you know, fem female Sag, and the King of Wands could be a male Sag. It could be, it, you know, energies are interchangeable. It doesn't have to be that way. Um, in the previous reading, I was saying that I see uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Pisces, Scorpio. Aquarius and now Gemini with the lovers in the reverse here. So any of those signs basically um, Cancer so I feel like Why is the king of wands in the reverse here? I feel like he comes in the reverse um, And this is Aries too by the way Aries is showing up Leo and Aries the, I feel like the King of Wands is shown in the reverse position because whoever you're dealing with is arrogant, maybe. I did say that the person is stubborn. Um, it also talks about, you know, maybe, you know, this person could be manipulative, but I feel like the reason it's, it's showing up is... Maybe the person is narrow-minded and the person is unwilling to change. And that is causing the strain here. And this is causing you to juggle the situation in your mind. Because you're, like I said, you're trying to come up with a solution. And the only solution that you can see in the imminent future is cutting this person off. Now... The reason I did it, I did it extended is because I wanted to find out what the final outcome would be for both groups. The groups that are coming towards the Sag and the groups that are already in a relationship with a Sag. What is the outcome here? Now, with the Two of Pentacles here, I talked about it being a soulmate card because, like I said, when I see this little symbol here, to me, it talks about being a soulmate. 
And then we have the temperance here. Talks about karmic. Karma. Here, a balancing of karma. Um, and, and remember, I started off the reading as this is a reconciliation. This is someone you dealt with. You thought it was going to be a victory. Now, that's very interesting to me because that's letting me know that in the past, things didn't go your um, way. And you're thinking that if you try it again, it's going to be a victory. But we see that that's not the case here. We see that the same behavior is happening here, causing stagnation. You're not happy. You're not content here because this came into in the reverse position here. And here with the Two of Pentacles, which is um, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, um, in the reverse, it's kind of making me feel like, okay, the self-doubt is here, the frustration because of the disharmony. And then there's also the procrastination of coming up with a solution or making up your mind, basically. But you're starting to become impatient with the situation. And this is why I feel like this showing up here in the bottom. And I said this is fears. And this is what I mean by fears. This is in a distant future. And this is like thing in the distant future. Um, hopes, wishes, and fears here in this corner. You want this. But you're getting this in the reverse. So this is like a fear. Um, you have a fear of breaking up with this person. But this is a cycle that needs to end because you did. This is your second time around and it's not working. It's not working. The person is, this person doesn't want to change. It's unchanging. Um, very obstinate character. Obstinate. And I do see a lot of, um, I see stubbornness. Especially with the King of Wands here in the reverse here. And then the King of Swords too. I feel like this is you wanting to cut out what no longer serves you. And this is what we want to see here. Um, can you give us a final outcome, please? How is this going to end? Because we talked about a potential future. We want to know um, what kind of conclusions are sad is going to come up to look at this see I, i'm not making this up there's going to be a breakup and i didn't even really need to do the extended but i wanted to confirm here because i know that this the reading started off very dreary it was like okay well you made a bad decision well you know you made a bad decision now you don't know what to do you don't know if you should stay you should go you made a bad decision but you want to stay but it's like you know you need to go but you don't know what to do it's like what 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 <laughs> so here's the conclusion here you're going to break up. You're going to end it. Some, well, I don't want to say all y'all, but yeah, most of y'all are going to end the situation here. This is not cooperating with me. Come on now. You're going to end the situation with the two of cups. Um, and just for a fine, another supporting card here, please um, give me a card of advice here. But good news here. We have an ace of wands here. So there's a new beginning. This is a one. This is a 10, and this reduces down to one. So this is letting me know when that cycle closes, everyone knows, a new one begins. This is a good omen. A new one begins. And we already know that um, the overall energy is someone wants to still come towards you, Sag, with an offer. So if, if there may be two groups or there may be two situations happening here. You may have, you reconciled or you are with somebody that you deal with, dealt, dealt with in the past. But there is somebody else that wants to come towards you with an offer and he's probably waiting for you to break up <laughs> so that he can have his chance to come in. I just saw that after putting these cards here. This is a mess here. So after putting these cards here, I just saw it. And I like to stand these cards up here because this is adding to the overall energy. You're going to cut something out so that something new can come in here. It's very important that you close out this cycle because if you don't, that new beginning cannot start. That's why this is in the reverse. This 10 cannot turn into a 1 here until you make that decision. Um, some of you guys are going to stay and you're going to keep repeating the cycle here. One more card, please. We just I just want to know who's coming towards Sash. Who's coming towards Sash Sun Moon Rising here? Who's coming towards Sag Sun Moon Rising? Hopefully it's a great person. Okay. I got two cards. 
Um, it came, it's supposed to be like this. Um, Ace of Swords. Someone that's going to give you equal give and take. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful outcome. Somebody that's going to give you an equal give and take here. Um, when it flew out, it fell on my foot and it flipped. So that's why I said it's supposed to be an upright. There will be a new beginning. You will be cutting out all this BS. This person's not giving you what you want. This, there's no give it, uh, uh, mutuality. There's no reciprocity. There's no e uh, equal give and take. That person is stagnant. He's holding you back. He's complacent. She's complacent. This relationship is not going anywhere. It's going in circles. You're stuck in your head trying to make a decision. Thinking that, oh, he's my soulmate. She's my soulmate. No. That's a karmic relationship. And you need to close out the cycle. You need to break up, separate, so that the new beginning can start here. There needs to be a change here. And, you're, and like I said, you're cutting it all out. Because you're going to get this equal give and take. Okay. So that is your extended reading. Um, this reading wasn't as long as mine as usual. I usually do uh, an hour, two part extended reading, 30 minutes each. So this one is going to be 555. I will be posting this up on my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support. Please comment, um, like, and subscribe to my channel.